Hello, everybody. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iaccino. Still not much going on. These things are still stuck in a range, coming down to the 50% level. Again, buyers stepping in prior support over here, stepping into that 50% level, now right back to the flat moving averages. Really, on the bigger picture, until it can break below about 63, I'd call it about 63.65, or get back above... 6,800, we're stuck just in this big range. And the only trading here is to buy support, sell resistance until it gets out of there if you're looking for something to do. But that, to me, would be forcing it. Best thing to do is uh, if you are if you get long, just keep moving up your stops in case it does break down. And we're just going to have to wait until it gets out of this range. Let's see. You can see up here when we get up oh, you know, above this 66, 750 areas the sellers come in right here right here when we get down you know below the 6500 tend to have buyers coming in and you had the prior resistance becoming the support area so those are your really key areas nothing changes on the upside and downside targets checking in on ethereum ethereum broke down but still making a higher low just eat out a higher high didn't get quite yet to our 239 area kept closing down below the declining uh, 200 and their sellers still coming in right about this 235 level gonna see now if it can finally get a nice catch we got separation again see if it can pull back and catch uh, don't want to close below 225 but if it can pull back and catch up then we'll be or uh, rotate up then we'll be watching for it return to that 239 then 242 then 247 areas still just what would change this pattern is if we stop making higher highs and higher lows. So if we get down and make a lower low below about 2.1295, then that definitely breaks the pattern. Then I will go into more bearish mode. We did get a divergence. Keep in mind, we did push up higher high, lower high on the RSI. So this did not have as much momentum pushing up. So I'm going to really be patient, make sure this gets a strong rotation back up because it could just stay again in this consolidation phase. You know, it's the same as Bitcoin. They haven't broken out one way or another. The moving averages are flat. So in the bigger picture, in order to really determine the breakout levels, we'll be watching to see if it gets eventually below about 196 or above 247. Above 247, we start being more aggressive on the bull side. Below 196, all bets are off, and we wait for the much lower prices and the and some bonding patterns. Now, keep in mind also, if it does rally, a stronger rally and takes out this 254 level, we now have a cluster at 265 because of projected GAN level and declining 50-day exponential moving average. This we have so far on Ethereum and Bitcoin, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.